topic of discussion is stack in data structure so what we are going to understand is what is stack operations on a stack and algorithm of that operation so let's start with the stack so stack is an ordered list that is a list which is an ordered form order list in which insertion and deletion can be performed only at one end that is top that is called top so stack is an ordered list in which insertion and deletion takes place only from one end which is known as top and if you see if you uh, see the bucket if you see the bucket or bottle if you see the bucket or i say if you see the bottle what is the what is bottle if you want to insert what bot water in bottle that will be inserted from top and if you want to you know take out water from bottle that will be also take out from the top so both insertion and deletion is taking place from what top so this is what stack is all about where insertion either you want to insert or you want to delete both take place only from one end and that end is known as what top fine okay stack is a recursive data structure so one more thing stack is a recursive data structure where where a function call itself having pointer to its top element where pointer points to the top element fine stack are sometimes called lifo last in first out that is very important stack is lifo based why lifo based last in first out if you see the stack of plates see the this one is the first plate then second plate then third plate fourth and fifth but what if you want to take out the plate you will take out this plate first so this is the last plate to be inserted but it is coming first so last in and first out that is last in and first out so stack is based on lifo similarly with this card deck of card this queen of heart is the last card which you have inserted but when you take out the card this queen of heart will be the first so again last in first out fine that is the element which is inserted first in the stack will be deleted last from the stack that is if you have inserted this first this will be the last element last in first out fine and or you can say first in la filo first in last out or last in first out both both things are same fine okay it is named stack as it behave like real world stack fine for example deck of card i told you or pile of plates i told you fine okay in stack terminology insertion called push while deletion or removal is called pop if you are inserting an element this is called push and if you are deleting an element that is called pop fine so in stack when you put an element it is called push when you remove an element it is called pop let's move so operation on stack the two major operation on stack are push and pop push means when you are inserting elements and pop means when you are deleting element fine so this is an stack and see you can see push and pop operations let's move further so let me tell you one uh, push operation steps involved in push operation here the figure is in front of you here is a stack where there are already two elements 23 and 93 and i just told you that top will point to the top element so top is pointing to the 93 element that is the position of 93 element suppose uh, 23 at position 1 and 93 as position 2 so top is pointing at position 2 now what you want to push what element 10 so what will happen so 10 will be inserted so what actually steps are taking place check if stack is full that is for push operation first you need to check that whether the stack is full always remember whenever you want you are asked to insert an element or push an element in a stack you always check whether it is already full suppose i am giving you a bottle water bottle and asking you to fill this water and if the bottle is already filled will you be able to insert water in that no the moment you insert water it will automatically come out so this is called overflow this is called overflow if bottle is already filled or if a stack is already filled and if you try to insert that will be a overflow state check if a stack is full if a stack is full if a stack is full produce an error and an exit or you can say write overflow or you can say write overflow fine okay if you either you write an error or you can write overflow 
If stack is not full, suppose this situation here, stack was not full. If stack is not full, increment top to the point next empty space. First, you need to increment top. That is, top is equal to top plus one. And now top is pointing to this empty space. On on this empty space, what you are putting? This ten element. Fine. Okay. Add the data element to the stack after incrementing. Add this element. That is, ten is inserted onto the stack where top is pointing. Return success. And now return success. So this is these are five steps which are involved. In push operation, that is when you add an element to the stack. Fine. Now talk about. Now we'll talk about pop. That is removing an element. So if you want to remove any element, let's see. Here you are watching that there are three elements. That is first position 23 element, second position 93 93, and at third position 12 element, and top is pointing to the third position. Now if you want to pop, pop means what? You always pop the top element. So 12 will be come out. So 12 came out. So what has happened actually? Step step one. Check if stack is empty. Always remember if you want to push element to the stack first check it is full and if you want to empty a stack if you want to remove element or if you want to pop an element always check if the stack is empty that is if i am giving you a bottle if you are asking sir i want to have some water i am very thirsty and i am giving you a bottle have a water and bottle is already empty will you be able to drink no if the bottle is already empty if you try to remove anything it will not get removed this is called underflow this is called underflow fine this is called underflow f l o w flow okay so check if the stack is empty if the stack is empty produce an error or write underflow under flow fine and exit if the stack is not empty this space this this condition if the stack is not empty access the top element first you need to access i am accessing this element okay i have removed this element first access the data at the top then decrease the value by top by one. So now decrease the top. So top is equal to top minus one. So top will point to the second position. Fine. So what the point need to remember if you want to insert and a stack is not full, then increase top first and then insert the element. And if you want to pop and stack is not empty, then first remove the element and then decrease the top and return success. And the third operation of stack is peak. Peak is look all the element of stack without removing the, them. That is if I want to see how many element I have. So the top element is 12, then 93, then 23. So what I can watch all these element without removing an element, this is called peak. This is called peak operation. So what I told you, there are three operations. One is push, another is pop, and the last is peak. Peak is to, to traverse to travel a stack fine okay let's start with algorithm of stack okay so before uh, starting with the algorithm let's let make a stack so let we have a stack this this and this one two and three before starting there is no element into the stack so the top value will have what minus one because Top will point to the element if, the, if there is a value. If there is no value, top will be minus 1. Fine. Okay. Or you can say 0. Or you can say 0. Why 0? If it is starting from 0, then it will have minus 1. And if it is starting from 1, you can put it 0. That is one value which is less than starting value. Fine. Okay. So what is push algorithm? If a stack is full, in case a stack is full, let's see the condition. Suppose my stack is full. A, B, C. In this case, the value of top will be what? 3. Top will point to the uh, highest location. Fine. If a stack is full, yes, a stack is full. Return null. Either you can write uh, return null, you return null, or you can print what? Overflow. Both is possible. Overflow. F L O W. Fine. Okay. And if. But what if a stack is not full? Let's see. This condition is this. If a stack is not full, fine. If a stack is not full, then what you do? Then you have a procedure of stack and you have a stack that is array and you want to put a data suppose you want to put e into the stack what you will do first you will increase top is equal to top plus one so current position of top is two then two plus one is what three so top will come here two will come top will come here so that it will come from this place to this place and now top is pointing to the empty position and in empty position that is stack top top value is three stack array third position will have a data and data you have e 
So what you have done? You have inserted E. Fine. Okay. So this is what push algorithm. So push algorithm is only three step algorithm. First step check for overflow. Second for increasing the top and third for inserting data. Fine. The only three steps involved in push algorithm. Let's see the pop algorithm. Okay. So again the same thing. So suppose you have a stack. Zero, one, two. If I'm starting from zero, so top value will be what? Minus one. That is, if there is no element, then top will be minus one. Is the stack empty? Yes, the stack is empty. Then return null. That is, there is nothing you have to return. So this means what? Return null means what? Or you can write, or you can print, write what? Underflow. Underflow. F L O W. Fine. Okay. And F. Otherwise, if a stack is not empty, suppose condition is this A and B. Suppose condition is this, then what will be the value of top? The value of top will be 1. Fine. Okay. Then in that case, first in data variable, suppose I'm having a variable data. So in data variable, what I'm doing, I'm putting a stack top value. What is the value of top 1? So stack 1 has value B. So B will come here. So B will come here. Fine. And this space will get vacant. Fine. Okay. Then I'll decrease top to top minus 1. So top will come down top will be here and what I'll return the data return data means what which data this data data is what B so I'll say that B data has been removed fine so it's it's okay so what uh, I have tried to explain you is that is stack is a, a linear data structure so actually there are to be honest there is, there are two data type of data structure one is linear data structure and one is non-linear data structure linear data structure one is linear data structure and one is non-linear data structure so stack is a linear data structure and which is based on the concept of lifo last in first out or first in last out philo lifo or philo fine okay there are two operations in the stack what one is push one is pop and there is one more operation peak fine okay 